Good morning. Well, it was about 40 degrees this morning and I took the um, tank out of the evaporust. And uh, right now it's about 12 noon, or just about, almost 12 noon, so there is no uh, um, tank in here. And I just got to run a strainer and there's not really that much, it's just uh, only about an inch in there. Thing. And somebody suggested putting some rocks in here. Uh, I wasn't able to do that because we just kept getting rain and rain and rain. It was drizzling and, you know, I couldn't do anything. So uh, I turned it over and uh, there was kind of like a yellow coating and there was some rust in there still, but not very much. I'm going to take the can out of this shed now and show you now that we got some sun here. Okay, I'm using a ZE-1 so I can't get too close, but uh, it don't look too bad in there. I don't know if you can actually see it. I'm right in the sun with it. And uh, looking down in the uh, hole there. It, it didn't come out too bad. I got a coating of uh, uh, penetrating oil in here. I run my finger on the inside top here. It's fairly clean. What I did is I, after I I let this soak for a couple days in this position, then I turned it upside down, but uh, because it was raining and I was coming out here and I just flipped it over and then closed the cover back up on that container, uh, you saw how little uh, evaporust uh, is in there. Uh, so it only came up to about here, so theoretically this area here really didn't get done too well. but. When I run my fingers on the side, which I'm, my fingers hitting this area here, you can see it's it's pretty clean. And this is a thin oil that I have on here. And, and the uh, thimble is in there. The thimble came out really, really nice and clean. So I used uh, some of this here, uh, CRC Power Lube. I figured I'd use this instead of uh, WD-40 because I'm not sure. WD-40, I don't know if it contains oil or not, but I thought this would be better. And it doesn't hurt to leave that film in the tank when I put the gas in because uh, I might even run um, uh, a little tiny bit of two-stroke oil mixed with the gas to keep the inside of the tank from getting rusty. The generator might smoke a little bit, but I'll just put a tiny, tiny bit in. I won't, like, you know, uh, use very much. I uh, still got the generator here in the uh, shed. I'm going to my hardware store and get a, another spark plug. This one looks okay, but it's uh, a little dirty, you know, sooty or whatever. So I'll, I'll get a new plug for that. And then um, I'm not going to have time today. I have to get ready for a ham auction tomorrow, tomorrow being Saturday, and I want to get rid of that great big Tektronix scope that I could not fix. Um, I want to just donate it because I sold the plugins to it. I sold three plugins, so I made more than my money back on it. Um, I have yet to clean this um, jet here, and I was told just to put a tick, this comes out with a screwdriver, so I got to examine that and see if I can get that out and spray up in there. This is clear. When I spray that, it squirts out of the, somewhere up in this area here. It does not come out of here, so I don't know if it's supposed to or not. Nobody's really told me whether it's, I sh if I spray here, does it come out here? I thought it was supposed to do that, but it could be clogged. Maybe that's why. But anyways, um, so I'll be doing that, but I'm not going to be doing that today. I don't like to say I don't have time. I got to pack up my stuff in the car and get out to the ham auction. Uh, I want to be there by 8 a.m. Um, I couldn't do any more. The temperature is dropping. We're lucky now if we get the highs in, uh, in six, about 60 degrees. So there's no more 70 degree days. Uh, I think tomorrow is going to be close to 70, and that is it and then the weather's going downhill Sunday. So uh, I'm gonna be very busy tomorrow, so I'm not gonna be doing anything on this, but I did wanna give you an update. So, like I say, I wish I could show you a little more in there. There's a light greenish coating. You could probably see that inside there, maybe. 
it was more of a yellowish greenish coating in there but after I rinsed it out with water and shook it good and rinsed out a few times and then what I did is I took a clean small piece of rag dry rag and stuck it in here and went around with a screwdriver all the way around and I took another took that out and put another clean dry rag in there and went around so I dried this thing out thoroughly on the top bottom and sides and everything and then I sprayed that uh, that power lube that I just showed you in the can there that CRC uh, product and um, so it's got a nice thin film of oil all the way around it and I'm not going to rinse this out with gas I think I'm going to use it the way it is because it's too cold to uh, use the evaporust. I was told it should be above 70 degrees to use it. And I'm not bringing that monstrosity in the house. If you, if you ever live in a mobile home, you realize you've got absolutely no room, you know. And to be tripping over it and knocking it over, and you, I, I would be a disaster getting it all over the carpet and everything. We're not, I'm not going to do that. So when you live in a colder climate climate uh you got to work you know with the best you can and i'm not going to go bringing that in the electronic shop and having that in my way and kick into it it's a very small area there too so anyways i think this is clear enough i mean i'm i'm running my finger down the sides all over and um basically there is no rust scales or anything on it. My finger's coming out pretty clean here, even on the bottom here. Good. It may not be 100%, but it's a lot better than it was. So if for some reason, now that I know how to get this tank off, I put all this back. I gotta make up a gasket yet, and I gotta go buy some gasket material. I don't know if my local hardware store has it or not. I, I used to have it, but like everything else, I can't find it. It's tucked away somewhere in that disaster of a shed here. You tell me how I'm supposed to find anything in this. <laughs> You're probably wondering where Uncle Dorkel is. Well, I, unless he got out. There he is. <laughs> oh. So I haven't seen uh, my gasket material in years. I didn't have a lot of it, but I had enough to make gaskets. So I can't get this off because I don't have I don't have a wrench that'll fit that. I need a very thin-sided box wrench, and I don't own one, and I, I I have no idea where I'd be able to get one. I have a lot of I have quite a few metric uh, box wrenches, but nothing will fit on that. And the end wrench I can't even get on there because it's it's you can't probably see that too much here with the the lighting and not able to get very close. But there's just no room to get a wrench on this one. On the bottom one, yes. So if there is a vacuum leak here on this rubber gasket, well, then could very well be. But what I'm going to do is, like I say, I'm going to clean this jet out here. And uh, then I'm going to make up a gasket, and then I'm going to put the tank back on it. And we'll see if it runs. If not, I'll just leave it off to the side until I can locate a wrench that'll fit this and then take it off and jockey it around and maybe I can get this governor um, arm off here. There's a spring that clips in there. That wouldn't be a problem because it's got a hook on it, but the governor bar, the rod, um, is formed in a special hook and loop. and. Ideally, in order to jockey this around, I'd have to take this muffler off, too. And I really don't want to do that. But anyways, that's for a future video. I got my heater running all night, 250 watt, because it's getting a little cold. Um, what I'm going to do today... 
Take that Tektronix scope that's sitting underneath the three or four dollar dot and bar generator that I picked up at the flea market. And I could probably use that cabinet for parts and stuff and make something in it. Anyways, I gotta pull that scope out and put it in the car. And a few other items that I wanna um, get rid of that I do not need. Uh, one of them is a, uh, a Variac. I doubt you can see it. This is the ZE one, so you're not gonna get. Maybe you're better off without the magnifying glass. It's um, it's a Variac type M2, 115 volts, two amps, 350 cycles minimum. I got this given to me, but I guess the guy that gave it to me didn't realize it was not for 60 cycles. So um, it's like brand new. But maybe some of the hams down at the auction, some of them guys could use it. Um, I got this given to me quite some time ago, but it's very thin wire, and it's made for a minimum of 350 cycles. So if you use this on 60 cycles, you're going to burn it up. Okay, this is, you remember this, the 7633. I got all my... Um, schematics and stuff in here that I want them to have. I sold the uh, plugins, the time base and the two plugins that were here. I sold them a while back. And uh, so I made my money back on this because this scope can't be fixed and it ne needs a high voltage, uh, a high voltage supply. So I'm going to try to, I just need to get this out of the shop. But I only paid $20 for this at the spring ham radio auction. So I'm just going to donate it. I'm not going to get any money for it. If I tried to sell it, it would just, it wouldn't go. So I don't care. I just want to get it out of the shop. And so I'm going to gather this stuff up and put it in the car now because I want to head out early in the morning. Um, I want to, would like to be there for about 8 o'clock tomorrow morning. So I'm going to put that, get that out of the shop right now, and then I got to get some boxes, a uh, one box anyways, to put the uh, the Variac in and a few other small little things around the shop here. Nothing much, just some odds and ends that I don't need, you know. And uh, if I have any, I, I think I got one or two little items. Um, this thing here, I could bring to the ham auction, but. The reason I want to hang on to it is because this has got a nice case on it. And I could probably build something in here. Take this. It's got a chassis that slides in. So I could probably redo a faceplate here and make some kind of a... I haven't decided what yet. Who knows? I might even make a uh, AM transmitter one of these days. I don't know. Um... But I don't like those monstrous big, uh, those coffee can chokes. They're just too damn big. I gotta have something that'll fit all inside here, you know. But that's something. This I'll just leave off to the side. This has, a, I think, a bunch of six CG7 tubes, the nine pin. Uh, they're only good for television work, usually used in color TVs and so forth. So there's about seven or eight of them in here. A 12 AU7, uh, a couple of diodes, solid state diodes, and, and so forth. So, there wasn't, there isn't a lot of parts in here or tubes that are of, are any good for radios. So, I'll, I'll keep this. I won't get rid of it just yet. Maybe in the spring auction, I might change my mind. So, we'll come back on this video when I get this stuff loaded in the car. All right, I got some club donation stuff here. You probably remember this. This is uh, the stuff that um, John from the UK made up for Uncle Dorkel quite a few years ago. I don't hear from him anymore. I don't think he's around anymore. And uh, it's been sitting in a shed. And of course, when I redesigned uh, Uncle Dorkel, I made a simpler system which if you look back on those videos, so I don't need this stuff. This is way too small for me to uh, work on. So let some of them guys that have better eyesight at the uh, 
ham radio auction get it I'm just I just mark on a club donation so it goes to the ham radio club and uh, they make a few bucks on it if it sells so I'm gonna bring that out to the car by the way I uh, had another buyer and the radio is sold the Catlin radio is sold for the uh, $500 and the check is coming in the mail and I'm going to pack it up. I'm not sure exactly how to pack it up properly, whether I should bolt the chassis down to the cabinet or whether I should leave the uh, the bolts out so that if it gets jarred, it won't crack the cabinet. The cabinet's in excellent shape, no cracks or anything. And um, so that should be coming in next week and I will at that time box it up I have the cabinet in here and I have padding material off to the side that I'm going to be using along with other packing and I'm going to be double boxing it so um, I'm going to be spending some time on that. Alright I'm also going to donate this uh, this thing here that I showed a, a year or so ago that I got at a yard sale. I could never figure these things out and it's not complete anyways it needs a power supply which, which I found but it belongs to one of my scanners, so I'm not going to put that with this. And it's got a what looks like a connector here, which this cable probably goes into. So I'm going to donate that also. The lens itself might fit one of my security cameras that I I got one. I got a Sony Hyper Cam, I think, black and white. That might fit it, but I'm not going to worry about it. I don't haven't used it in so long. So this has been sitting in my workshop, just taking up room, and I can't do anything with these. I don't understand these IP cameras and stuff like that. It's just beyond me. So if anything I don't understand, I have no use for it, I might as well get rid of it and donate it. So I'm not going to try to sell it because I won't get no money for it anyways. So I'm just going to add it to this pile here, and uh, we're going to put it in the back of the car. So I'll be all ready to go off tomorrow morning, grab something quick to eat, and go to the ham auction. Okay, so it's all loaded up. That's all I've got to donate. So that concludes this video. We'll get back on the generator probably sometime next week because uh, I can't do anything when I get back from the ham auction. I don't know what time that will be. Sometimes I stay there until 4 o'clock when the whole thing is done. I always like to stay to the end in case there's any deals. <laughs> and Sunday I don't think the weather's going to be good. So I can't do anything on the generator at that time. But when the weather gets good we'll be back on it again. So meanwhile, thanks for watching. Have a good weekend everybody.